Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about previous year NEET questions related to the chapter Morphology of Flowering Plants. So first question, Pneumatophores occur in Halophytes, Free Floating Hydrophytes, Submerged Hydrophytes, Carnivorous Plants, Halophytes. Halophytes are the plants which grow in salty areas. So in those salty soils, salty water, oxygen is not available. So some of the roots of the taproot system grow above the soil to get oxygen from the atmosphere. These are called pneumatophores. Next question. Sweet potato is a modified stem, adventitious root, rhizome, tap root. It is an adventitious root. Let's In Bougainvillea, thorns are the modifications of stipules, adventitious root, stem, leaf. Stem. Stems are modified into flat green organs. Performing the functions of leaves are known as. They are known as. Scales, cladodes, phyllodes, phylloclades, phylloclades. They are involved in performing photosynthesis, which are phylloclades. Let's go to the next question. Which of the following is not a stem modification? Flattened structures of Opuntia, picture of Nepenthes, thorns of citrus, tendrils of cucumber. Picture of Nepenthes. Picture of Nepenthes is a modified leaf. It is not a stem modification. Leaves become modified into spines in silk cotton, opuntia, pea, onion. Opuntia, because opuntia is a xerophytic plant in which leaves are modified into spines to reduce transpiration. Radial symmetry is found in the flowers of in the flowers of brassica, brassica, trifolium, pisum, casia, brassica. Because trifolium, pisum and casia belongs to Fabaceae. In Fabaceae family, all the flowers exhibit bilateral symmetry. Flowers are unisexual in onion, pea, cucumber, china rose, cucumber. Let's go to the next question. The standard petal of a papillonaceous corolla is also called as, it is also called as vexillum. The term polyadelphus is related to gynetium, andrisium, corolla, calyx, andrisium. Andrisium because if the stamens present in an andrisium are fused together to form one bundle, that is called monoadelphus condition. If the if the stamens present in an andrisium are fused together to form two bundles, that is called diadelphus condition. More than two bundles, that is polyadelphus condition. So andrisium is the correct option. Free central placentation is found in Dianthus, Argimon, Brassica, Citrus. It is found in Dianthus. In Argimon, parietal placentation. In Brassica, parietal placentation. In uh, Citrus, axile placentation. The morphological nature of the edible part of coconut is perisperm, cotyledon, endosperm, pericarp. Endosperm. Coconut fruit is a droop berry nut capsule. It is a droop. How many plants among Indigofera, Sesbania, Salvia, Elium, Aloe, Mustard, Groundnut, Radish, Gram and Turnip have stamens with different lengths in their flowers? Correct option is, second option, four flowers. What are those four, four flowers? They are Salvia, then comes Mustard, then comes Radish and then Turnip. Indigofera belongs to Fabaceae. Uh, it show here no difference in length of stamens. Sesbania fabaceae, Salvia brassicaceae. Brassicaceae, the flowers of brassicaceae shows uh, difference in length of their stamens. So, mustard brassicaceae, then radish brassicaceae, turnip brassicaceae belongs to the family brassicaceae. Allium belongs to the family liliaceae, aloe also liliaceae, groundnut again fabaceae, gram again fabaceae. So what are the flowers, four flowers of salvia, then comes mustard, then uh, radish and turnip. These four flowers are the flowers which exhibit uh, difference in lengths in their stamens, in their flowers. Hope you understood all these questions. Thank you students. Keep watching and please do support my channel. In the next video, I will be posting previous year need questions related to the chapter Sell the Unit of Life. Thank you.